girls, girls. The daughter of soca heavyweight Austin Super Blue Lions, Fian is no stranger to the limelight and the impact it can have on everyday life. However, she is determined to shield her daughter from some of what she experienced growing up the child of a superstar. Not having enough time for her. I, I, I grew up with parents that both were part of the entertainment industry um, regularly. So not having the time to spend with her is something that I made sure we did not fall victim to. So we always make sure that we pick her up from school together and um, we do activities with her if it's go to the museum or we do like um, a movie or something. But we always make sure to make time. Always. The Vi Queen says ensuring that balance is maintained comes with its fair share of challenges. But together, she and husband Bungie make it work. Commenting on her unique style, Fian says she has never felt the need to conform. She remains unfazed by the constant stream of comments regarding the way she chooses to wear her hair. It doesn't bother me. This is me. I, I, my hairstyle is part convenient, part personality. Some gel and some water and some moisturizer and we keep it pushing. I'm very active. So for me, running, um, cycling, doing gym, you know, being, being somebody that sweats a lot in terms of my activity level, I need a hairstyle that's conducive to that. Too many women in a bid to fit in stifle bits of themselves. This, the Vikings Queen contends, must stop. If I don't take to Facebook and critique other women because they tick or they shape a particular way or they hear is a particular way, then that's a great start. We can't get people to not do it. What we can do is we can stop ourselves from doing it. And if each, each, if women would stop critiquing other women and stop going for other women for stupid little nonsensical stuff, then I think we'd be in a better space. She's a powerful woman linked to two powerful men in the industry. Does it give her an unfair advantage? Fian says it does not. What it does do, however, is expose her to two different but equally prolific dynamics. Asked if she ever questions her own talent when in the company of her father and husband, she says her legacy speaks for itself. One road marches, I won Soka Monarch. Did it all while I was pregnant. No guy has ever done that, <laughs> and I dare them to try. I mean, I would love to see Super Blue win a Soka Monarch pregnant, Dad, or Bungie. And for me, it's, it's not just about what you do, but how you do it, you know? Yeah, Bungie guys want Soka Monarch, so Super Blue. But I'll always be the one in history that's wanted pregnant, you understand? In response to the rhetoric that she is hanging on to her husband's coattail, Fian says, Who you want to ride his coattail? Some random chick from outside that should just like, it makes no sense. It doesn't make sense. If anybody has to do it, then I think I volunteer. If I'm seeing something great happening with him, am I supposed to compete with him for space? Or am I supposed to say, hey, you look like you're going for gold. Let me help you clear the way to, to make sure you score. A win for Bungie is a win for Faye and Lions. How do I lose if he's on top of his game? Not one to stress over the unknown, Fian says she's waiting with bated breath to see what's in store for the duration of the 2017 carnival season. Dion Batiste, C News.